Idaho's rangelands are great places for outdoor recreation, including hunting, hiking, biking, and camping. They're also important grazing lands for livestock. There's plenty of room for all of us if we take care of the land and treat each other with respect. Rangelands are beautiful open spaces that provide opportunities for outdoor recreation, forage for livestock, and habitat for fish and wildlife. Rangelands are natural areas that aren't irrigated, farmed, or densely forested. They include sagebrush grasslands, desert shrublands, and mountain meadows. Nearly half of Idaho, 48% of the state, is rangeland. Much of this rangeland is desert with very low levels of precipitation. By fall, plants have dried out and gone dormant. To the casual observer, they may look dead, but this is simply part of the natural cycle. When spring rains return next year, these plants will blossom with renewed life. In Idaho, about 80% of rangelands are publicly owned and managed by state and federal government agencies, such as the U.S. Forest Service, Bureau of Land Management, and Idaho Department of Lands. About 20% of rangelands are privately owned. Public and private rangelands are often intermingled, and it can be difficult to tell where the boundaries lie. Fences don't necessarily indicate boundaries, as they are a management tool to keep livestock in the right place at the right time. The only way to know for sure if you are on public rangeland is to check a map. Just because the area is covered in sagebrush and not irrigated doesn't mean it's public land. You should always check a map before you visit an area to see who owns the land and, if necessary, ask permission to be there. And remember, a red post like this one means exactly the same thing as a no trespassing sign. Hunters should always ask permission before hunting on private land. If you are given the okay, ask for a permission slip and carry it with you during your hunt. Remember, if you don't have permission, it's considered trespassing and is punishable by law. Persons convicted of trespassing will lose their hunting privileges for at least a year. Managing Idaho's rangeland is a big job one that ranchers and land managers take seriously. State and federal government agencies issue ranchers permits to graze sheep and cattle on public lands. Ranchers pay fees and must comply with laws, regulations, and policies. Those who don't may be fined and face other penalties. Ranchers use long-term grazing management plans, including rotating livestock to different pastures from season to season and year to year, so that every pasture is properly managed. That's why you rarely see livestock in the same places every year. Other management plans include resting pastures during the growing season until plants have completely gone to seed. This is why an area may have trimmed short grasses one year and waste deep grasses the next. Fences and gates are an important management tool for land managers. They're critical to keep cattle out of areas that are resting and rejuvenating. Fences and gates also help to maintain, manage, and improve wildlife habitat. If you open a gate, please close it correctly to keep livestock in the proper pastures. There's two keys to closing a wire gate. The first is to make sure that this bottom loop is parallel with the ground. And after you've set the bottom of the post into that loop, you want to look back and make sure there's no kinks in the gate itself. If all that looks good, use your shoulder for leverage and slip the wire loop over the top of the gate. To open the gate, do just the opposite.
Now on some fences you might find a device like this called a cheater bar. It might be made of pipe or wood or some other material, but it's used to help you close the fence. Using your body weight on the cheater bar makes closing the fence a snap. If a gate is left hanging on a fence, it should be left open. If it is lying in a road, that probably means it was accidentally left open. Please close it. Sheep ranchers use guard dogs to protect their animals by scaring off predators, such as cougars, coyotes, bears, and wolves. Guard dogs are usually breeds, such as Great Pyrenees or Akbosh, that are trained to protect livestock. They take their jobs seriously. These guard dogs are not pets. Recreationists should understand that household pets can look like predators and they may trigger a guard dog to bark or even attack. It's very important to keep your household pets under control to avoid a confrontation. Pet dogs don't belong around livestock. However, if you do encounter guard dogs, sheep, or cattle on a road or a trail, make them aware of your presence and move by slowly without startling them. Many ranchers and other landowners voluntarily allow recreation on their private land. It's your responsibility to protect this privilege. Please treat all lands as you would like others to treat your property. Stay on existing roads and trails, obey posted signs, and pack out your garbage. Make sure you close gates, control your pets around guard dogs, livestock, and wildlife, and report those who are abusing these precious areas. It only takes a few to ruin the opportunities for everyone. Recreationists and ranchers share a love for the outdoors. Working together helps ensure that all of us who use Idaho's rangelands have a positive experience. There is room for all of us to enjoy Idaho's wild, open spaces. Mm -hmm.